Welcome back to Lidley and Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today we're going to do a double walled acrylic glittered snow globe tumbler. You can find these on our Amazon store in the links below in the description underneath this video. First, what you're going to want to do is take your Drill Master tool. This is a tool I bought on Amazon. It was around $20. It comes with a ton of different screw heads and sanding tools. Um, and you're going to puncture uh, through very gently a small, tiny little hole. You don't want to make this hole very large. This is just where um, your exhaust hole is going to be. So when you fill the tumbler up with water through your main hole, the air can come out through that hole. Otherwise, you're going to really struggle uh, to fill your tumbler up with water. So you can see here what I'm doing is making a tiny, tiny little hole um, and cleaning the hole nice and clean. Um, and then on the opposite side, I'm going to drill a small hole as well. This hole will become our main um, hole where we will fill with glitter and our water and glycerin solution. So once you have that small hole done, and it's all the way through, be very careful not to puncture through to the second layer. You're gonna clean off like the little bits of plastic that came off, <laughs> being careful then not to let the little plastic bits get inside. If you do get them inside, just tap it upside down until you get it completely out. You can see I'm using my little micro tweezers here to pull the little piece out of the tiny hole just getting it nice and clean sorry about my kids in the background then i'm going to adjust the drill bit i'm going to change it out and i am going to get the small uh screw setting so once you have the larger screw head down on there you're going to take it and expand the hole very carefully making sure to not put too much pressure on it so that you do not puncture through the second layer inside. You're just gonna slowly work the outside of the hole to make it a little bit larger at a time, carefully removing the little bits of acrylic that come away so that you do not get them in your cup. If they fall in the cup, just tap them until they fall back through the hole and continue to make that hole. You're gonna wanna make the hole about the size of the end of a small hot glue gun stick and just slowly slowly work it this is not a fast process do not try to speed through this because you will accidentally puncture through to the second layer if you have a regular hand drill you can use that to drill the hole i'm just showing you the option with a small hand drill but a regular drill can be used You can see here that the hole is just about there, so I'm gonna add just a tiny bit bigger and we will be finished with this step. Next, you're gonna take your tiny glue sticks. I find these at the dollar store in the craft section, and you're gonna grab one stick. This takes very little. You just need one. You're just gonna adjust your size, make sure that it's gonna fit perfectly into the hole. You want it to be just snug enough to where you have to work just a little bit to get it in there. And you're gonna cut off about a quarter to an eighth of an inch of, it looks about perfectly right. It's gonna fit right down in there with a little work. And so it's time to select our glitters. We're gonna be using Pothos, Yogi, and Dakari. These are our three chunky holographics that are the perfect fall colors mixed together. Look, they're gonna look amazing in this tumbler. Then you're gonna take our vegetable glycerin. This is food grade vegetable glycerin. This is very important. You wanna make sure you have the food grade. Um, to mix with water. I use lukewarm water to make sure that my gl glitter and my glycerin mix well together. So we're going to pour out equal parts water and glycerin. 
and mix them together. You'll notice when you first mix your water and glycerin together, it goes cloudy, but just keep on stirring and it will go totally clear once it's mixed properly and well together. I'm gonna use our large silicone mixing cup. It is reusable, so it's great because you can just keep going and going and going with it and clean it out and reuse it for every project. This could be found on our website at littleianrose.com. It's 250 milliliters. We also have a 100 milliliter cup. I know that this isn't gonna be quite enough solution, so I'm gonna mix a second batch and add it to the same batch and mix it up. The reason that I use the water and glycerin mix is to make the glitter have a more suspended look in the cup. If you use just water, the glitter will drop and fall very, very quickly. If you use just glycerin, it will get goopy and sloppy inside the cup. So the perfect mix is half water, half glycerin. And remember when you're mixing it up, it's gonna go cloudy at first, and you'll know that it's thoroughly mixed when it goes completely clear. And this mix just makes it to where the glitter will be perfectly suspended. It will still fall and do the beautiful cascading look and the snow globe look, but it won't just plop to the ground as it would if it was just water. So we're just getting our glitter ready. Um, with our Little Lead Rose glitters, what, how to open them is to just slide the scissors in underneath the little Ziploc portion, and that will give you a nice reusable bag with the label still intact. We're gonna use the larger hole to gently tap a third of each glitter in there. We're gonna have one third, one third, one third portion-wise of our glitters. Of course, this is personal preference. You can add whatever you want. You can also choose any glitter color you want and any theme for the tumbler. I'm just showing you guys a fall tumbler because <laughs> let's be honest, I wanna make myself a cup. This is gonna be a personal cup for myself. It's gonna have little pumpkins and be really cute. So um, I se selected the fall colors um, as Pothos, Yogi, and Dakari. So you're just gonna tap each color in and any that gets around the outside, you're just gonna push it in with your finger or a little toothpick or a stir stick. Or... For the next step, you're gonna wanna use a little tiny funnel. Um, I use a jewelry funnel, like a little molding jewelry funnel. Um, and I just pour my liquid in. This is gonna drop right in because you have that little small hole on the opposite side for the um, air to come up through the bottom so that the liquid can easily pour right inside. Then you're going to use rubbing alcohol to clean the surface. You can see here I'm cleaning it very, very thoroughly and taking my little stopper and sticking it in there. So while you are you shove the stopper right in, it's going to take some work. You want it to be very, very tight. Um, this is the little uh, hot glue little stopper that we made. Um, the reason I use the hot glue is because, frankly, I have it lying around the shop and I don't have to go out and buy extra supplies or anything specific. You want to press it down firmly and get it on there really, really well. When I filled this up with the fluid, I made sure that there was very, very little air left in the in the tumbler. Um, you want to make sure that there is hardly any bubble because when you flip the tumbler over, if you have a lot of air in there, the cup is only going to look half full. So this tumbler has full of water and glycerin almost to the absolute tippy top where it almost leaks out of the holes. And you can see here, I'm just using my tweezers to wedge and push it in there. Again, you want this to be a nice, snug, tight fit. So it should, should take a little bit of effort to get that plug inside that hole. Also, before you add the plug on the second side, you wanna do firm tapping on the sides of the tumbler to make sure any air bubbles that were trapped under the glitter 
when you first poured it in are released because again, you want as little air in here as you can possibly get. Um, you want just the teeniest, tiniest air bubble uh, because when you flip the cup over, that air bubble will appear bigger than it does on the bottom just because of the displacement of the glitter and the way that the tumbler is shaped. For this next step, I take a pair of cuticle trimmers and I actually trim off the top of the plug if because it won't all fit down inside and you want it to be almost level with the bottom of the cup because you don't want to make the cup have an unlevel bottom. So these little cuticle trimmers I got from a nail kit from the dollar store and they work perfectly for this. I had it laying in, around the house. I keep one in my purse so it's always on hand. Um, and then I go back through and I make sure the bottom is completely clean in case any of the fluid came out that has the glycerin in it. And I rub it with the alcohol to make sure it is all wiped away and clean. Then the second step is to take your glue gun and put a tiny little dot of hot glue over the small area and press it down once it's cooled down just a little bit so it's not too hot and it won't burn your finger. And you press it down. I used here the end of my tweezers and I get it nice and firm and press down in and I hold it for just a second to make sure it's completely dry. This is going to plug up the small little hole that you used to exhaust the air when you are putting in the fluid. And just carefully release it so that you don't accidentally pull the plug out. If you do, just do it a second time. Clean it, just clean it with alcohol and redo it. It's no big deal. Just, but this one I got lucky and the first one stuck and held. So now what I do is I take my embossing heat gun and I heat up that hot glue stick and I get it to where it's melting just enough, not completely melty melty, but just enough to where it's kits become gooey and I can press on it and make sure that it's all the way in there. And you can see I wobble it back and forth and make sure the seal goes all the way around. This is to ensure a very tight seal. Again, I show you guys this with the glue gun trick because it's something that most crafters have laying around the house and it's very easy to do this style and you don't have to go out and buy something like a plug or a, a plastic screw. I mean, those are things that we don't generally have around the house, but the glue sticks, most crafters, we have these. I always give each side just one more little burst of heat, give it one little more tap of pressure just to make sure it is completely sealed down and flat to the base of the tumbler. Ooh, got my finger stuck there a little, but it worked out perfect. Just press it down and make sure it is attached very, very firmly to the bottom. Then I'm going to take our Littleian Rose Art Pouring Epoxy, Part A and Part B, and I'm going to measure equal parts. You only need about two grams of each, two grams of Part A and two grams of Part B, to mix thoroughly and apply to the bottom. I add a little bit of Novak to the mix to cover the plug. I always select a matching glitter color that matches the glitter that's inside the tumbler so that it's not like a a garish obvious difference so I selected Novak. Novak is basically the little brother to Dakari. It is the same kind of rose gold holographic but in a fine cut and added to this epoxy it will look beautiful at the bottom of this tumbler. When you mix your epoxy, you want to make sure it's thoroughly mixed, scraping the bottoms of the cup, the sides, and the stir stick to make sure every little part of the epoxy is mixed up properly so it cures completely um, on the bottom of the tumbler. If you do not uh, measure uh, the epoxy properly and mix it properly, it will not cure and it will stay soft. 
So that's why mixing is very important. Take your time and make sure it's thoroughly mixed. You can see here, this is Novak. This is a beautiful holographic rose gold. And we're just gonna tap some into this epoxy mixture and get it stirred up. After you do this step of applying the epoxy with glitter in it to the bottom of the cup to cover the plugs, you wanna go ahead and let it wait at least mm, about nine hours before you do your final coat of epoxy on the entire tumbler. That way it ensures that it won't move and it will stay in place while you do your next application of epoxy. Once you've poured it on the bottom, you're gonna take a small stir stick and you're just gonna make sure it goes all the way to the outer edge in a very um, crisp, nice line. I just gently, very slowly press the epoxy out to make sure it's going all the way against that tiny, there's a very, very small ridge on these tumblers and I push the epoxy right up against that ridge and uh, so that it's an even smooth base. Then I cut out my decals with my Cricut machine. As you can see here, I'm using heat transfer vinyl and our regular vinyl to mix um, to get the exact colors that I want. The heat transfer vinyl is the rose gold foil. I'm using my weeding ring and my weeding to, uh, tweezers to get all the little bits out from between my pumpkins. And uh, this makes it a, a nice, easy way to clean up your decals and get the weeding perfect. Then I take transfer tape and I apply the decals. I use my heat gun to use heat on the heat transfer vinyl. You don't need a lot of heat. Just use a small amount of heat and use a towel to rub it flat and make sure it's attached to the tumbler properly. Wait till those cool down before you remove the carrier sheets. Slowly remove the carrier sheets and you will see that the heat transfer vinyl stays in place. You can shake up the tumbler and voila! Your next step is to apply epoxy over the vinyl because that's going to make sure it stays in place and makes it more permanent, um, especially since we used heat transfer vinyl. So I'm doing the same thing where I mix part A and part B, but this time I used about 10 grams of part A and 10 grams of part B and I applied it over the entire cup. If you have a few micro bubbles, it's okay to do a little bit of light torching on the epoxy to get rid of them. But here we go. This tumbler is all finished. The last coat of epoxy has been put on and it's ready to rock and roll. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and maybe learned a new tip or trick to doing these tumblers. Uh, like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys on the next tutorial. So I left the sound on the last bit because it was so satisfying to see, hear that ice hit the cup and the soda pour in. I am so sorry for the sideways shot of this. I have no idea what happened. I filmed it correctly, uh, but for some reason when I upload it into my editor, it comes out sideways and I'm not good enough at this editing stuff to get it to flip the other way. I have no idea how to do that. Happy tumbling, everybody.